Unbelievable. We got Anthony, the freaking vlog theory over here. MVP. So the title is not clickbait. Last year I spent nearly $3,000 on chasing my dreams. A calculated risk that I took when I found out that my job was going to be affected by the pandemic last year, but last March. So without having any other option, I applied for CERB, the Canadian Emergency Response Benefit that the Canadian government handed out. So I took my savings, just about $3,000. Literally every dollar I had to my name. I bought the Sony Alpha A6600. Um, with the base lens, the base uh, model, and a couple of pieces of like like a rig, like a filming rig uh, that I used actually for the Bearded Princess. And I used this camera for the Bearded Princess. So already that investment has, has had an incredible return. I have won two film festivals, I got in the news, I got my name out there. I took a calculated risk, it was totally worth it. I ended up getting really incredible footage and pictures of uh, Comet Neowise last year. That's one of my most favorite things I've done with the camera. I was able to capture once in a lifetime events. So that was pretty cool. I've been able to capture deep sky pictures. Um, not the best, but getting a deeper and closer look at the local star systems that we have around us. I am so ecstatic about being able to do that and what I am going to be able to do with this camera in the future. I think it is so important to take calculated risks in this life. With the money I've been able to save the last year, I was able to enroll in Eric Decker's Crater Now project. Even like literally today, I got a almost two hour like in-depth look at, at Logan Paul versus Floyd Mayweather, like the, the press conference vlog. Hayden Hillier Smith, the editor of Logan dissected the edit and went through and what an incredible opportunity to hear and listen to someone who literally does this as a career and does it for a career for somebody who is one of the biggest names on the planet. The main premise that I want you to take away from this is that you should take calculated risks in your life. If you have been wanting to go back to school for a very long time, take the risk, sign up, do it. If you want to move cities, you know, COVID pending of course, and change your life, change your lifestyle, fucking do it. If you have an idea and you believe in it and people around you don't, listen to your heart, listen to your brain, chase those dreams, take the risks. There is a huge payoff for those types of people. I pitched an idea to a local company. I was able to get a sponsor. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to uh, go deeper into the idea yet, but I did that a few days ago. I will uh, be talking more about that in the future, but it's something that I'm gonna be celebrating tonight. It's important to take risks. If I hadn't signed up for the Creator Now project, I would have never had the chance to speak and listen to uh, Zach Kravitz, uh, to Ian Borthwick, who is part of SeatGeek, who, you know, Ian from SeatGeek on David Dobrik's vlogs, I, I would have never been able to have uh, roast by Eric Decker himself, by Eric, to hear that I'm in the right place and that, you know, the last 12 years of me creating content has led up to this moment and I'm only 22. I have a whole life ahead of me that I'm trying to plan for and work towards. And to get to that point, I have to take calculated risks. Having access to this camera at the beginning of the pandemic really helped me a lot. I was able to practice filming and playing around with the camera and the settings and, and learning the ins and outs of, of, of a camera that is going to be my career jumper. I've had many cameras in the past and I've worked on many pieces of technology, but this camera is the one that's gonna help me the most. I'm taking big steps, calculated steps, calculated risks to get to where I need to be. I hope that makes sense. I will uh, see you all very, very soon.